16th of august uh, 2023 remember guys to like share comment and follow and attend on the notification bell so guys emmanuel makandiwa the leader of the united family international church ufic has predicted that the ruling ZANPF party and president emma sumnangagwa will win the forthcoming august 23 elections makandiwa confidently declared that the ruling ZANPF party would emerge victorious with a significant margin. He said if ZANPF loses the election, his followers should then find another man of God. This revelation has sparked intense speculation and debate throughout the country, as citizens eagerly waiting the election outcome to see if his prophecy comes true. Some critics argue that religious leaders should not only focus on the election predictions but also address pressing issues such as human rights abuses corruption and political vices in the country Milton member of parliament dependent Temba Mliswa said it's tiresome how this supposed men of gold keep posturing about prophesying who the win of the elections will be without also speaking out against the many human rights abuses corruption violence and other political vices plaguing the country as election date approaches, Zimbabweans find themselves torn between hope and skepticism, eagerly anticipating the unfolding events. The nation awaits the verdict on August 23, which will shape Zimbabwe's future. Several self proclaimed prophets, including Nigerian pastor Samuel Agedibonse, have been predictions stating that opposition leader Nelson Chamisa will emerge victorious in the upcoming elections following his loss in the continuous. 2018 presidential uh, election. Makandiwa's prophecy about the upcoming elections can impact voters in various ways. It may strengthen the support of his followers for the ruling ZANPF party, reinforcing their beliefs. The prophecy could also lead undecided voters to reconsider their choices or become cautious. However, it might also result in voter apathy among opposition supporters who feel that the outcome is predetermined, leading them to potentially give up on voting altogether. Religion has played a significant role in Zimbabwe's politics throughout history. Before colonialism, traditional governance relied on spirit mediums who influenced selection of kings. During colonial rule, Christianity was introduced and used by authorities to justify control. However, churches also become spaces of resistance against oppression. After independence, the government maintained close ties with religious leaders for nation building. Nevertheless, concerns have risen about the misuse of religious platforms by influential figures like Makandiwa, Walter Magaya, Nehemiah Mtendi, Hubert Angel, and Mazbaba Endibai to sway congregants towards political agendas, including support for the ruling ZANPF party. Religion in Zimbabwe politics offers moral guidance, social cohesion, and resistance, but the blurring of boundaries between religious and political spheres raises questions. So, guys, that's the latest here. Mama Kandiwa, Marukwana President Nangagwa, Wawina, August 23, ZANPF, Ichanamba Chitonga, for the next five years. This is what the man is saying here. Do you agree with him or not? And I so five days to go for this election to happen and we'll be here on this channel on Prince Milan Entertainment TV. We'll be keeping you guys up to date, we'll be keeping you guys posted, we'll be keeping you guys informed about what is happening. Remember to like, share, comment and follow and attend on the notification bell. Bless up.